Yes, I welcome you, primary friends, to our eighth lesson of English, and it's still going to be about comprehension. Uh, it's still how to how can you answer questions concerning stories, concerning dialogues, concerning poems. Eh? So we are we are going to have enough time of practice. The other lesson of of seven still was about comprehension, and even this one still about what? comprehension. Do you know how to read? Do you know how to interpret? Eh? What you have read a given text very well. That is what eh? I'm emphasizing for these two lessons: how to write, how to read, and how to answer in full sentences. So we are going to read a rhyme. We are going to read a rhyme and we answer a, that rhyme, the questions about that rhyme in full sentences. So here our rhyme goes like this. It's about water, as they already the title saying, a rhyme about water. So it goes, water, water, water. You come as rain, we collect you in pans and pots. Water, water, water. If we have drums, we store in drums. Mm -hmm. Water, water, water. If we have tanks, we store you in tanks. We store you in tanks. If we have tanks like plastic, metallic, concrete, and underground tanks. Water, water, water. We need you for life. Should I repeat? Water, 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 you come as rain, we collect you in pans and pots. Water, 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 if we have drums, we store in drums. We store you in tanks if we have tanks. Plastic, metallic, concrete, concrete and underground tanks. Water, 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 we need you for life. So here they are saying you're going to recite it several times, then after that you answer questions in full sentences. So here they are saying, what is the rhyme about? My dear children don't say water. No, they are saying what. And remember I was giving you the other time those words. If they say what, eh, you write in a full sentence. So you're going to say, uh -huh, what is the rhyme about? Don't say water. But say the rhyme is about water. The rhyme is about water. Are we there? And again, some of you will say like this, the rhyme, no. When you're beginning a sentence, let us learn that we have to start with a capital letter. So you say the rhyme, the rhyme, the rhyme is about, the rhyme is about, now you put your uh -huh, what is it about? The rhyme is about water. You put your water there. The rhyme is about water. Then you end with your full stop. Begin with a capital letter, end with a full stop. What is the rhyme about? The rhyme is about water. When they say, write, what is the rhyme about? Maybe they can say, what, write, the name of the title of the rhyme. Yes, say, water. But when they say what is the rhyme about, the rhyme is about water. Uh -huh. Then here they are saying, why do we need water? Why do we need the water? You'll pick it from your, from your hard copy, you'll get the answer from there. And they are saying why, they are not saying right. When they say why, write in a full sentence. Why do we need water, you say? We need water. We need we need water for for what you get the answer from me now right now together we need water for dash you get the answer don't just say you may go up for water you put there just directly the answer no write in a full sentence because of this word why are we together and then they are saying, give the three types of tanks mentioned in the rhyme. Give the three types of tanks mentioned in the rhyme. They are saying, give, they are not saying, why, or where, or what. So when they say give, just go directly to answer. So here we have plastic, just say plastic tanks. 
plastic tanks plastic tanks aha uh -huh. we have metallic 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 tanks and so on are we together so when they say give just go direct to the answer when they say why write in full sentence when they say what write in full sentences when they say how like that and that are we together you have to write in full sentences so i encourage you still to use the best of your handwriting when doing my work avoid the unnecessary process like some of you can use a pen you're using a pen but you're doing like this like last week i saw somebody's book i want to mention the name but you know yourself eh you do like this eh don't do like this children are we together when you see that you've made a mistake every person makes a mistake use a ruler eh let us assume you wrote the word too and you never wanted it yes you get a ruler only pass once like this are we together children don't do like, like this this is this is not recommended it's bad you see bad so i encourage you to use the best of your handwriting in my work is that one okay thank you very much children for listening we meet in another lesson